So I got a question about how to deploy a puppeteer web scraper inside a Heroku Dino, which turns out to be a little more complicated than I originally thought it would be. Now we already covered a section where I show you how to deploy a scraper on Heroku or Google Cloud. And this works fine for a regular web scraper with Cherio and Request. But if you start using puppeteer, then you need to add the so-called build pack to your Heroku Dino. This is beginning to sound terribly complicated already, but don't worry, I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to deploy a puppeteer web scraper to Heroku. Okay, step one is to get my GitHub repository with the minimal puppeteer project and go ahead and clone this Git repository. So let's go inside the console and say git clone and put in the URL. And then let's open up this project inside Visual Studio Code. So now that we have the project open, let me just give you a brief intro to how the project is. So we have this very simple file here, index.js, which has the puppeteer dependency. We set the headers to be true and we pass in this no sandbox argument. It's very important that you have the no sandbox argument or else it is not going to work. And then we go to the example.com page. We simply get the text from the page and then we do a console output to make sure that our puppeteer browser is working as it should be inside of Heroku. So with that being said, let's go ahead inside of Heroku and create a new app that we can deploy this app to. Now inside Heroku, let's go ahead and make a new app. This is step two. So we say puppeteer. I will call mine puppeteer Udemy and let's say region is Europe because that's where I'm located. Now we need to use the Heroku CLI in order to add this repository. So we go and take the existing Git repository and we simply copy this command and go inside of the repository inside the terminal and we add it to our Heroku app. Just like that. Now we set the remote to be Heroku. Now we need to publish or push in this app. So we can say git push Heroku master. Now it is important that you do this push first before we add the build packs because I found out by testing myself that if I add the build pack first for puppeteer and then push up to Heroku, I simply don't get any output in my console, so it doesn't seem like it's running at all. So it's important we first do this push where we should be getting an error when we run it. So let's go inside a new terminal here and let's say Heroku logs tail and then a, and we call it puppeteer Udemy, which is our Heroku app name. Okay, so now it's saying deploy to Heroku and let's see inside the console. Now we see lots of errors here. So these errors come up because we don't have the build pack added. But remember that you need to do this push first before we add the build pack or else you're not going to get any console output at all. It's weird, it doesn't make sense, but I've tested this multiple times and this is what seems to happen every time if I add the build pack right away before uh, pushing first. So with that, now let's go and add the build pack and then let's do a little commit and push again. So let's add the puppeteer build pack here. It's called this one, John, uh, whatever. And then we say <laughs> dash A and have error. Heroku app name, Udemy, just like that. Okay, so now it added the build pack and then we can run uh, git push Heroku master. I think I need to make a little commit before I can push. Yeah, I need to make a little commit, so let's do that. I just add a space like that and let's go ahead and commit that with build pack. 
And then we can say git push Heroku master. Okay, so now it is building the project again. This time with, with the uh, build pack added. So it's going to take a little more time because it is quite a big pack that we're adding. But now it should be running and giving us the, the sites HTML inside of the console. So we know for sure that now the puppeteer scraper inside Heroku is running. Okay, so now our building has finished and our deploy to Heroku. So if you go ahead and check inside the other terminal where we had the Heroku logs running, we can now see the whole HTML of the site that we decided to scrape. So just like that, that's how we deploy a puppeteer web scraper to Heroku.